Columbus off tonight before taking on Ottawa coming up tomorrow night at home at Nationwide Arena. Take a look at the point leaders this season. Zach Wierenski, Boone Jenner powering the way right now with 16 points. Ivan Provorov and Kirill Marchenko next behind them at 14 and 13. And a couple other guys. You've heard of Johnny Gaudreau. He's got 11 points as well. One of those guys, Zach Wierenski, defenseman for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Nice enough to join us on his off day here on NHL tonight. Zach, we appreciate that. Uh, good to see you healthy again. I'll start off with saying that after missing most of last season. Uh, how does the body feel to start this year? Yeah, I feel good. Um, obviously, a little bit different this year at the start of the season. Uh, just trying to get up to speed again. Obviously, didn't play for a long time, but uh, I feel good now. I feel like each game I'm getting better and just kind of starting to, you know, to find my rhythm again. So it's been good. Funny you said that. Your team's finding their rhythm again as well. The last four games, you guys are playing a higher brand, crisp, intense. You guys are making plays. What are you seeing from your end that's been the key in this last four game stretch? Yeah, I think we're just keeping it more simple. Um, you know, we're playing a, a definitely a more direct game. Uh, we're not trying to trying to do too much. We're getting pucks in, we're getting pucks out, uh, we're shooting pucks. I mean, honestly, it's there's no real secret to the success. And I think early on, uh, we were kind of trying to find our identity. And um, you know, when that happens, you kind of, you know, you end up giving up chances and giving up goals. But I think right now we kind of found our identity. And we're just playing harder. So. Uh, it's been good as of late. Obviously, a tough one last night, one that I feel like we should have won, but um, that's how this league goes, I guess. Zach, tell me about this uh, Dmitry Voronkov. I mean, he is a beast of a forward. He's a big guy. He's come in. He's played pretty well for your team so far. Give me your thoughts on, on, you, on this young guy. you got a lot of good young players, but he's really kind of stood out so far. Yeah, super impressive, um, especially because he doesn't speak any English. Uh, he doesn't understand the language, and... For him to come in and do what he's doing, um, it's it's really impressive. He's in all the right spots. He goes to the net. He knows how to play. Uh, I think he won in the KHL, so he has those winning habits. Um, and it's it's been super impressive to see. And obviously, didn't know much about him coming into the year. Obviously, I knew management was high on him, but uh, he's been one of our best players consistently this season. And you know, it's funny you mentioned that about not knowing any English. I mean, that was a little bit of a story over the last week That's or right. ten days that he was thinking about was. maybe going back to uh, to the KHL. I could certainly understand that. I mean, it's hard to come to a country, a completely different culture, yep. especially at this this time, and, and try to figure things out. And then he kind of had a change of heart. What's the what was the conversation like? What do you know about it that kind of got him back on the right page? Because he's been playing really well. Yeah, I mean, I can't imagine what he's going through, right? I've been fortunate. The the farthest I've ever lived from home is a three-hour drive. So uh, for him to come all the way across the world, not speak this language, it's got to be tough on him. Um, but we have a few Russians here, and they've been, you know, talking with them and kind of communicating with us uh, about, you know, kind of what he's thinking. And obviously we understand. And, uh, you know, we want him here, and it sounds like he's going to stay here, which is great for us. But, um, you know, we had a good road trip last, uh, you know, this past weekend. And, Grab dinner as a team. We, we, you know, had some time to bond, watch the Michigan OSU game, uh, and obviously uh, try and get to know him as best we can. But it's tough because he doesn't speak the language, and I think he has this big personality, and uh, I think it's hard for him. So uh, we're trying our best to just, just to make him feel comfortable, but I think it helps having all these Russians on our team. You being a Michigan guy, we'll get to that Michigan uh, OSU game in just a second, but I wanted to stay on the topic of Columbus and the Blue Jackets and EJ, like you said, a lot of young guys on this team. How about Adam Fantilli? We hear all about yeah. Connor Bedard and, you know, look, Adam Fantilli, he was a high, high end uh, prospect, all kinds of talent. He's a Michigan guy as well. You get to go up against him every day in practice. What makes him so special? Yeah, I just think the way he plays the game, he uh, he plays a full 200-foot game. Obviously, he has the talent, he has the shot, he has the skill to score and make plays. But, um, you know, when he gets on that ice, his his compete level is so high. He's, you know, working on his, on his defensive game. He's working on his spot on the power play. He's he's just working all over the ice. You can tell he really cares and wants to be the best player. And, um, you know, it's always good to have guys like that on your team, especially young guys. You know, he just gets it. He He's on the ice early. He's on the ice late. Um, he's putting the work in, in the gym, so he's been really impressive. Um, I've skated with him and worked out with him for a few summers now, but to see him in this environment with older guys and just how he interacts, it's it's been great to see, and it's great for Columbus. There seems like there's a real maturity to his game, both on and off the ice as well. I know a couple of days ago or something he spoke, and he just talked about how unhappy he was with the way that things were going and, and not winning and stuff. And for a rookie to really stand up like that and speak his mind publicly, you don't see it too often. Is he a mature guy off the ice? Yeah, very mature. Uh, just how he handles himself in, in all situations, away from the rink, at the rink. 
Um, he's someone you don't really have to worry about, you know, being a young guy or don't have to help too much. Obviously, we're there to help him if he needs it. But like I said, he just gets it right away. I know he spends a lot of time with the Hughes family in the summer and being around, you know, players like that and a family like that. Uh, it's pretty easy to learn. So um, I think he came in right away, kind of knowing what to expect and, uh, and kind of knowing how to play the right way and, and be around this. And um, he's done a great job so far. So we're excited to, you know, for his future and to see what he can do moving forward. Great place to play Columbus. A lot of people that may not have been there don't necessarily know, haven't had the chance to spend time, but you've been there your entire career. Tell us some of the things that you love about playing there in the Buckeye State. <laughs> well, I don't love the Buckeye State, but, um, <laughs> but it's, a, uh, oh, no, it's so a great, good. It's, yeah, it's a great city, you know, great fans. Um, uh -huh. It's just a super easy way of life. It's the Midwest, and uh, that's what I've grown up knowing, and that's what I enjoy. So um, just a very underrated city, and I think, too, you know, especially when this team's winning and doing well, uh, we have some of the best fans in the league. You know, I think last year we sold out seven of our last eight games, and we were, you know, last place in the league. So it speaks volumes to the people we have here, the fans we have here, and uh, it's just a great place to play. All right, you're you're a Michigan man. Oh, I so, you know we, we hit it out. We got to bring it up. I mean, your your first part. You mentioned before we got going here, the first part of your career there with the Columbus Blue Jackets, the Ohio State Buckeyes Ooh. were putting the boots to the Michigan Wolverines. Ooh. But that has turned recently, and now Ooh. it's three in a row for Michigan. You were in Raleigh with your teammates. I'm sure you would have been you would have liked to been in the big house <laughs> for a nice win. They were storming the field. Yeah, no, it looks great there on that picture. That's how it should be. Um, <laughs> yeah, my first five years, uh, oh. Michigan didn't win, so I was kind of feeling the heat from the fans and getting it in my DMs and Twitter and whatnot, but uh, the last three years have been great for me. I've kind of been giving it back to them as much as I can and just enjoying it. Counterpunching. That's what we call counterpunching. Yeah. How do you tell that yeah. line? Like Weeksy was saying earlier, I mean, I'm look, you're you. in the Buckeye State. You know who the check comes from yeah. you're a Michigan guy how do you toe that line you guys are finally yeah. on board I think you just embrace it I mean it is what it is right it's a great <laughs> rivalry it's college it really has nothing to do with the Blue Jackets and, and I love playing here and I love living here so uh, I just embrace it I obviously don't wear too much Michigan gear around the city but uh, whenever they play each other in the week of I, I always enjoy the rivalry and just trying to have fun with it well, we uh, we had fun with you we appreciate yeah. you taking yeah. a few Thanks minutes so much, of your Thank off you, day uh, good luck the rest of the season yeah yeah, thanks, guys.